Hello, welcome to Soundbridge. Today we're going to show you how to make a super saw patch. Well, at least a couple of variations on that as well. Now, what a super saw is, is a sawtooth oscillator, but played in unison. Meaning that uh, many synthesizers have this option, meaning that this oscillator, when it plays alone, just like this, yeah, that's a chord playing this one sawtooth. Now, if I enable this unison feature, I'm actually doubling, tripling, quadrupling, yeah, that oscillator to play like a six oscillators would play, just like this one. Now, the difference is they are all slightly detuned and panned left and right. As if you can see when I do this, when I move that detune, you can see that I have six voices of that oscillator and some of them are pitched higher than the actual note I'm gonna be playing and some of them are pitched lower. And as they progress, they get pitched even more and more up and down. Meaning that I have six oscillators, but none of them actually in this configuration plays the actual note I'm playing. If I go to seven, you will see there is one in the middle that plays the actual right pitch of the notes I'm gonna be sending to it. Now I'm gonna stick, let's say to, let's say six, and let's see the difference. So that's with unison, and this is without. So not only is that it's more stereo and wide because we have more than one oscillator with a slight pitch difference for each one and being panned left and right respectively, but also that slight detune between all of those versions of this oscillator creates a lot of phasing between them. So it creates that nice uh, lush movement and it makes that oscillator sound much fuller, much richer. Yeah, so that's what we get. Let's try that again. So you see even more. So this blend parameter right here just decides on the balance between the two most inner copies of that oscillator, the ones closest to the original pitch and all the detuned ones. So if I had an, an even number, that one in the middle would be just the normal sawtooth that plays the actual pitch of the note I'm sending and the rest of them would be those detuned ones. So this is the blend between them. Let's try that too. So you have control over that as well. Now, once we have this detuned sawtooth, and it sounds really nice, yeah? How could you make that uh, richer? Well, we could add another sawtooth yeah, on the oscillator right next to it, make that also detuned, and we don't have to do so many copies, but make that one an octave higher and try that as well. Now that also sounds even nicer. Now it sounds even richer, it has that upper octave playing the higher harmonics. What we could also do is add a sub on top of that with another sawtooth. Let's say the one that is gonna be playing lower than the original one. Yeah, we can make that quieter. Nice, so that sounds even richer now, even fuller in the frequency spectrum. And a nice thing we can do also is add some noise. I'm gonna add the bright white noise, just a tiny bit of that. And that sounds really nice. Now, imagine all of that with a filter on top. So maybe adding an LFO to that filter. Let's see what that sounds like. And of course, I'm gonna put that filter on top of all of these oscillators. So it can be filtered and you can play it unfiltered as well. You can use detuned sawtooths just like this, unfiltered just as a means of, of a nice, powerful chord. You could actually turn that into a plucky sound, just like this, let's say. Just like that, doesn't even have to be that long. I can do that with this amplitude envelope. And if we added some, let's say, reverb and delay on top of that,
And that sounds nice even when it's not filtered. And what makes this hyper saw to uh, sound even better sometimes is the OTD compressor. And that's the multiband compressor that we can turn on right here inside of Serum. That's gonna be doing the downward compression and the upward expansion of the lower part. So trying to keep the actual frequency spectrum balance in this range, in the black range right here. So let's try that as well. So with it, without it. It accentuates the highs a lot. So that would be it. A nice, simple way to get a to get a really cool super saw. Have fun combining your super saws. And remember, you can download your free copy of Soundbridge using the link in the description or going to soundbridge.io. And if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe. See ya.